That sounds suspiciously like a math problem from a textbook. Um, well, we'll do it. We'll do it. But uh, pay attention so you know how to do it on your own next time, huh? Okay, so your question is, you have a board that's eight feet long. Eight feet long. And you want to cut it into pieces that are two-thirds of a foot. So cut into two-thirds foot pieces. Okay. And you want to know how many pieces you can get. Well, this is really just a division problem, to tell you the truth. What you have is the whole number 8, and you're dividing it by 2 thirds. Now, before we actually do the math, let's think this through logically a little bit. 2 thirds is less than 1. If I were going to take my 8 foot long board and divide it into pieces 1 foot long each, then I would get 8 pieces. That seems pretty straightforward. If it's 8 feet long, I get 8 1 foot pieces out of it. You're dividing it into pieces that are only 2 thirds of a foot. So even though we're dividing it, our answer is going to be bigger than the number we started with. Because when we divided it into pieces of 1 foot each, our output number, or our finishing number, was the same as our starting number. 8 divided by 1 is 8. You're going to be dividing it by something smaller than 1. So your pieces, there's going to be more pieces than 8 in there. If you can only get 8 out of there when it's a whole foot long, you're going to get more than 8 when each piece is less than a foot long. So the answer we're looking for should be bigger than 8. Now, if you recall the rules for dividing fractions, we can write this. This is a rational number. 8 is a rational number, which means we're going to write it as 8 over 1. And now we have a division of fractions. To divide fractions, we have to invert the second fraction and multiply. So we'll put our 2 on the bottom and put our 3 on top. And then we can multiply straight across. 8 times 3 is 24. And 1 times 2 is 2. So 8 over 1 divided by 2 over 3 is the same as 24 over 2, which reduces to 12. So that number is bigger than the number we started with, which is what we expected. And it looks like since our pieces were only 2 thirds each, every time we cut a board, we had a third of a foot left over, right? So we really should have a significant portion of wood left over, so to speak, after we cut out 8 2 thirds of a foot pieces. And it would make sense then that we should be able to get 12 whole pieces out of there if each piece is significantly less than one foot. So there's your answer. Eight foot long, cut into two, th two thirds foot pieces, gives you 12 pieces.